Alejandro has gotten a taste of the outside world and it tastes like death. Alejandro thinks it's vampires that are the cause because those things have sharp teeth. One thing can cleanse the palate of Alejandro though. A nice experience of spiffo food should bring things around. That in a working car would be very nice. Anyways, today we're going to make our way north towards the gas station and spiffos for some real nice hometown meals and hopefully a getaway vehicle to get out of town. Here's to another good episode. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid The Survival Horror Challenge. We're back with Alejandro, baby. And we are doing pretty darn well for ourselves. We have a whole bunch of jars that we could use for distractions. Honestly, I might go pop them open right now. Just so we got them on hand. We are going to need to worry about waiting a little bit though. So yeah, we're going to be able to make all these bad boys into throwable bottles. But we'll actually save out on that for right now. Because it does weigh more when we do convert them into that. It might actually save us some space as well. Honestly, getting outside is going to be a little bit of a problem. As these zombies, uh, you know, they get real active during the night. So just keeping a low profile, you know, throughout this thing is probably going to be my saving grace. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a zombie over there, but they're behind a door, so I'm not too worried. Honestly, getting to the gas station is probably going to be my number one priority as of right now. Because we need a working vehicle in order to get anything right now. Okay. Also, I want to go say hi um, at the Spiffos. So, you know, that's another little thing that we can look forward towards. Okay. We're able to slip out pretty easy. It's still technically day out, so I'm going to go save up some of my flashlight juice. Uh, the only problem is our dumbbell is nearing its end. And that's going to be a very sad day for all of us. Let's go out over to uh, Mama McFudgington's, my favorite store. In all of the nation. Get out of the way. Is that a haunting knife? <laughs> oh, that's a haunting knife, alright. Huh. Don't know why you'd use that for, uh, you know, preparing food. But hey, that's no biggie. To be honest, uh, stabby stab weapons are probably going to be one of the better things that we have here. Oh, he's back up. Of course he is. I forgot that they resurrect. Uh, you you got to really ingrain yourself in that. Or else they will just, you know, start moving around. And by the time you realize, it's gonna be death. Alright, come on, buddy. One more. Two? Wow, you are thirsty. Four. There we go. My gosh. They must really lack a lot of iron in their diet. <laughs> nice try, lady. Put her on one damn knee with that swing. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this up. Oh, and he's back up. Gosh, you fast food servers are built different. He came back stronger as well. Came back running. There we go. We're already dang- we're already exhausted. Oh. All of this just to get the Mama McFudgingtons. Completely worth it in my opinion. Oh my god! You just don't know when to quit, buddy, do ya? Ah! My dumbbell! You're gonna have to pay with that, buddy. Get over here, you little bastard. Yeah, I'm not done with you. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna bring him inside, is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta actually open the door real quick. Uh, you stay right there. Uh, I got something to really... I'm gonna throw him into the damn trash can. That's what he gets for destroying my prized possession. My one and only dumbbell. Can you believe the audacity on this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is the trash can around here? I'm not exactly done with the biz yet. Now zombies are moving around and like, maybe I should do this voice. It's a lot easier on the throat and it's still kind of got that gruff tone to it. Anyways, let's go look around here for a couple of things. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I think we found it. Ah, uh, it's all rotten. Uh, we'll shove you in the oven. Actually, we can't. It's not enough space. Looks like you're just gonna be a shelf boy. Spaghetti baloney. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Come on, buddy. Get in there. <laughs> okay, we actually need to be a little bit cautious of the outside world, but first things first, I want some damn baloney. Spaghetti baloney. All right? Like ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket ole? There we go. Okay. We're looking good. Put away our can. Open now. We'll use our steak first. These damn things have to be zombies. There's no other way. Vampires, actually. 
Yeah, vampire makes sense. They're definitely vampires, dude. They got the teeth for it. At least that's all they have is actually teeth. <laughs> not a lot, uh, not a lot. Okay, we'll just avoid that door for the life of me. Okay, little break room here. Griddle pan, empty bowl. I think we already have a bowl, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. We're gonna go actually craft up um, a little makeshift bottle for, you know, distraction reasons. We can equip that pretty nicely up over here. At least that'll give us an extra option for dealing with these, uh, you know, unnamed threats. Honestly, going through the back might be the best call right now. We still need to head up north, so we have quite a long journey ahead of us. Let's go check these parking lots real quick. We could get something nice out of them. A vehicle would be very cool right about now. Nope, nothing nice. Alright, we'll just continue heading over down this way. There's way too many zombies down there. I'm actually like a damn shadow in the night right now. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's a vehicle up there. It seems like it's actually a construction worker meta event. Ah, oh, so you want to fight me, huh? Yeah, bro Oh, wow, that broke really quick. There we go. Beta blockers. Take that. Solve my crippling drug addiction. Also, I really like the vanilla weapons mod. It makes the hunting knife look a lot more bushcraft -y. I like me some bushcraft. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. You really need to go down. There we go. See? Knife ain't that bad. I'll use the nightstick, though. Man. <laughs> Nightstick might be the best weapon, to be honest. Red digital watch. Lumberjack shirt. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Clone. Uh, I wish I could actually use a clone. All right. Let's go check this uh, carpentry truck right up over here. Propane torch. Wood glue. Pipe wrench. Pipe wrench. That's actually pretty epic. Um, I'll yoink that for a weapon later on. Uh, if I could take it. I'll drop the stake. We don't need that much anymore. I'm really scared about a zombie coming up on me. Okay, what I'll do is I'll replace a nightstick right now. We'll just use a nightstick right now. We'll save the pipe wrench for later. Pipe wrench is red, so, you know, that's Alejandro's... That's his whole thing. Uh, walkie-talkie bourbon. We'll drink that right now, brother. <laughs> oh, hold on. Switch seat, number two. Man, they got the stash. Can I wear... Please tell me I can wear the earmuffs with my visor. That would be so damn epic. Come on. Oh, where are you coming from, lady? Whoa, golly gee, slow down there. You might hurt someone with that. There we go. Oh, he's back up. I was wondering why I couldn't loot you. Come on. Four. God. They really build you different in the USA, huh? Okay, let's see here. Plain t-shirt. Yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? Damn it, I can't. Okay, let me go grab this bourbon. Instead of reading, I will just drink away my sorrows. Like a real man. Okay, come on. How many times? This should be the last- Oh, god, he's even dodging while he's down. You gotta give him credit, and, you know, he really has a tenacity to just survive. Okay, let's go, uh, equip our torch. We'll drink half, and we'll save the other half to make a, uh, to make a Molotov. Molotov would be pretty epic right about now. Hello? Huh. Okay, whatever. Must have been the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me these rip sheets. I'm gonna make the best damn Molotov cocktail you've ever seen, baby. There we go. Bam. Done. We actually don't have a lighter to use it right now, do we? Huh. Never thought I'd make it this far. Alrighty. Well, we got a Molotov. I don't know how long we'll have it for. We're a little bit wasted. You know, a little bit of liquid courage goes a long way. Now, see, this is why we need flashlights. It gets really dark in here. It's actually still dark. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a... We have another battery, right? <laughs> we totally have to. Yeah, that one's junk. Let's insert another one. And let there be light! Cool! It's a smidge brighter than before. Hello? Anyone here? The pizza boy is dead, actually. He died a long time ago. Choke tube full. We don't need a choke tube. We actually have a fully kitted out one. See, the indoor investigation scenes are probably like the coolest part in the middle of the night. I really want to do an Eternal Night series, but there's no mods as of yet that actually make it to where night is a completely, you know, unchanging factor that still allows time to pass. 
Because the last time I did an Infinite Night Challenge, um, there was no stat progression, you know? What you had is, um, what you were. So if you were, uh, not hungry during that entire thing, you would never, you know, get hungry again. That's the only problem. Door flash. Oh, wow, I hate that. Really hit in there. Okay. Zippy market. This is a good, good, good call right here, actually. She's, she's definitely gonna get back up, but that's okay. Sunflower seeds, that's technically food. Oh, this place is jam-packed with them, huh? Well, don't mind me, I'm just doing my thing. I don't think we're gonna get lucky with the gas cannon here, but we can get some chips. Some chips and dip. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Okay. So this is how you want to play it. Okay. Oh, man. This is not good. Bonk. Uh, bonk. You gonna run too? No. Okay, cool. So let's get out of here. The lady definitely got back up. So... We oh, she got back up. The corpse is gone. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, no! Ah, okay. We're fine. <laughs> Did you actually think I was scared? Hell no. I'm the damn king of the village! That guy never stood a damn chance! Let's continue reading through. Uh, what is in here? Just a bunch of shitty offices. Yeah, it's an office block area. Yeah, absolutely useless to us. We need less off- Oh, he's back. Oh yeah, they're back. Okay, well they're down there right now, so they're not much of a problem to me. Shut the door behind me, make sure that they don't get in and, you know, start wrecking house and down. Alrighty. Uh, doctor's clinic, I'm guessing. Pool cue and a laser sight. No, huh. Okay, this is a good sign. Good signs for the future. Hello? Definitely zombie. Yeah, it's a doctor's office. What am I even doing here? Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Hello? Yeah, okay. There is an upstairs area that I do want to check out following these stairs up over here. So let's just slip on by. This should be... This is the wrong area. It'd be right down here. I don't know where that other guy is, but he should be no threat to me now. Yeah, zombies are a lot more mobile in the night. But it's okay, because I'm, I'm an absolute unit. I can take beatings like a dang champion. Hey, I see you down there, lady. Hey, that's something in your head. What is that on you? There's something stabbing out. Oh, it's her stud earrings. Okay. Well, I'm going to go investigate the last uh, room on the hall. The door's actually broke, but there is another battery here. So that is very nice. I will be yoinking that for myself. Batteries are a hot commodity nowadays. So finding one is a surefire way. To survival. That's a good candle, actually. Can I equip this as a secondary? No, do I need- I need a lighter. Oh, gosh, yeah. Re-equip it. Just drop it. Candles are useless, anyways. Lane's auto manual. That is not use- Actually, it is. We're never gonna learn how to do mechanics. <laughs> we were never a mechanics kind of guy. I always just found my way around the area. Oh, uh, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I forgot that I can't read. I can't read. Ooh, whoa, 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 mama. I'll take those shells. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. You have enough damn ammo to take out an entire army right now. Belts, pillow, uh, red pens. Yeah, nothing too crazy. There ain't a lot of zombies around, though, but hey, that's okay, because I got my cool Spiffo backpack. We really need to go check out Spiffos. See, my end goal would be to get a Spiffo costume and use it as a mascot. Like, put it on a mannequin and, like, have it set up somewhere. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, we got another battery. Let's yoink it. Let's continue. Nightstick in tow. Is there anything else in here that we might need for survival? Nope. Okay. Well, usually these, uh... These little- ooh, gun case. See, you always gotta check those little areas, because they can have some good stuff. Okay, we don't have much more to investigate. We got a few more apartment blocks, and that's gonna be it. At least it's almost day, and we're also getting our fair share of batteries. Honestly, I'm- you know, sometimes you just want to see the world burn. 
You know what I mean? I feel like, uh, I feel like we could do something here. Actually, we might be able to. Actually, no, the power is out. I forgot about that. Well, the thing is, this Molotov weighs like 1.5 pounds. So, like, just gonna... Just gonna... Oh, can I not... Oh, okay. I can't use, uh, matches to throw my, uh, thingy. Okay. That's not epic. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to use something other than a lighter, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Oh, they should really add that in. That's actually pretty crazy that they don't have that. Also, wearable headphones would be pretty cool. Get some uh, Dr. Dre beats, put them around your uh, neck. You know, be the cool kid. Let's see here. What's el what else is here? Uh, ooh, another hand torch. Uh, good battery, actually. Probably better than the one that I got right now. Yeah, just by smidge. Hey, it's fine. Oh, nope, nope. That's the one I just had. Yeah, drop that one. Equip this one that is slightly higher. I mean, it's only like 10 minutes worth of battery, but hey. That could come in handy one of these times. Uh, wardrobe number two! Nothing. Okay. We got one more apartment, and we will slowly make our way up north uh, Rosewood. Every step we take, we are a tiny bit closer. Ooh, empty jar. I'll take that. Honestly, the jars are probably one of the better things to find in here. Lots of walkie-talkies, foraging for beginners, books... Books are for losers that can't learn through peer trial and error. If you fuck something up, then you learn from that. Books tell you how not to fuck up from the beginning. And that's not a way to live, brother. Okay, come on. Uh, more matches, hand torch. I mean, the matches are good. You know, it's always good to have like a... Hello? Oh gosh, that, uh, that radio sound kind of spooked me a little. Ooh, first aid kit. Um, I'll actually take the disinfectant wipes from there. Those are gonna be nice. Same with the bandage. We do need a bandage on us, like, at all times, so we don't bleed out and die somehow. Also, I need to wash my damn self off, so I'm gonna use this toilet to, uh, yeah, wash myself. Maybe some clothing as well. There we go. We look a little bit cleaner now. We were only able to wash myself off in the shirt, but hey, that's good enough right now. Okay, we should probably not be running. <laughs> Don't really want to attract too many people to my locale, even though I am the reincarnation of just pure testosterone and power. Okay, let's get the hell out of here now. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I'm hopping over. All right, that uh, could have been bad. I hear a lot of zombies in the back, so I think we come out the front. Ooh, it's, uh, it's real, uh, spooky out. It's the spook time. It's uh, spooky. Okay. Yeah, 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 this was a medical place. Alrighty. Zombies, for the most part, are pretty dumb, so we should just be able to skirt right on by. There is a bookstore there. Hugo would have loved that, but we're not Hugo right now. We are the man, the myth, the legend, Alejandro Green. Um, legend extraordinaire, legendary, powerful warrior who does not lose to anyone. He will never bend his knee. He will never admit defeat. He will always keep on swinging till the end of time. He will keep on swinging and moving, dude. The thing is about... You know, Alejandro is that he's always mobile. He's mobile enough to where the zombies behind him won't get up before he's out of the area, you know? Yeah, that's what that's one of the things you have to appreciate about him. He has no off switch. He's always on from the beginning, baby. Okay, a few zombie. Okay, we got another apron looking dude. Seems like he got bit in the hand, probably like one of the first people to die. You know, it's like, oh, that's, that's usually how it goes with, like, cliches in movies. Like, they always get bitten in the hand. It's like, oh, it's just a tiny bite from my hand. How could this go wrong? And then they die, and then they infect, like, fucking three other people, and then it's just, like, a never-ending loop of slaughter. You know how it is. What the hell? This isn't Spiffos. This is anything but Spiffos. We need to continue up ahead. Yo, what's that in, uh... Another damn bread knife. What's up with all the bread knives today, man? Okay. I, I, I really like the tonal shift from just me, you know, like... Okay, there's actually quite a few zombs zoms here. Oh, yeah, that's quite a few. Quite a few there, bot. Well, just didn't... Uh, uh, no, okay, I thought that was a machete in there. It was not a machete. Where is the uh, hardware store here? That's another good question. Okay, I'm just making sure no one's sprinting at me. Okay, I know there's a mechanics down south over this way, because I was here with Ronald before. We should just be able to... God, we are fast even when crouched down. Alright, a few zombies here and there, no problems. 
The music is not really fit in the mood right now because I'm just that good at evading these damn zombies. Okay, we got three out over here. Let's do it. Oh, starting it off with the freaking bang, I see. No! Oh. Take her out. Take her out. Nice. Okay. That's one threat down. Yeah, bring it on! God, those uh, those sprinters are scary, though. They are literal nightmare fuel. Push, 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 bash, 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 push, bash, bam. Booyah! Oh my god, the three-piece McChicken Nugget combo is a go! Oh. <laughs> okay. No! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh jeez! There we go. No problems. Yeah, I'll break your damn legs and I'll break them again just to break them again, just to break them again. By the time I'm done breaking, there's nothing to break because it's like a fine paste. Okay, I'm literally playing juggle between standing on these two zombies, uh, not zombies, biters right now. Stay down! I'm not. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Ass kicking isn't enough. I need some damn bubble gum. <laughs> oh my god, there are so many of yous. Stop getting up. I'm trying to do something here. I'm getting exhausted. Am I getting exhausted? I don't think I am. Dead. Dead. Stay dead. Please. For the love of God. Alright, I'll actually take that, um, that screw- ah! Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> the thing is, is that, like, it's a 50% each time, so, like, with every zombie, there's always that one chance that a zombie gets, like, five consecutive r dice rolls in their favor, you know what I mean? There we go. <sighs> man, it's not even unlocked, I have to do it the hard way, yeah, yeah, yay, man. Can't have anything easy in this world, let me tell you. Now, I did find a revolver in here before. I actually can't loot this anymore. Huh, that's a bummer. Found a Peacemaker revolver back in the day here. Uh, whatever. You know, I probably could have just thrown a distraction and had that been the way. But, uh, yeah, hindsight's 2020. Got some chippies here. I like some chippies. Some hot chip. Okay, I thought I killed everyone, and I definitely did. We can turn off our uh, flashlight now, which is actually very nice. Uh, we don't need two pairs of scissors. Honestly, what I need are some dang guns to modify. We got a lot of good stuff here. Garden saw, empty mug. The mug in the... Eh, mug is actually a little bit less useful in the bowl, so we'll drop that. There we go. Right now, all I want is enough room to drop off my hand torch in the bag. Do not want to lose this baby. There we go. Okay, let's continue. This nightstick is about to break, so we're gonna be able to use a pipe wrench very soon. Give me a big hiking bag. <laughs> I would take it if it wasn't Spiffo themed. He is a man. Alejandro's a man of his word. He, if he doesn't see a Spiffo themed related piece of clothing, he's not wearing it other than if it's red and stylish, okay? Those are his two strict adherences to code. So hopefully I can find that, um, the red motorcycle helmet, because if I find the black one, I'm not wearing it. But the red one? That's free game, that's free armor. Woo, look at you, buddy. Woo, man, swinging for the fences. I respect it, buddy. But now, you must die. Saw, so, uh, she is down over there, expert mechanics. Give me a battery. Big gas. Big gas. Uh, performance models, yada yada, nothing good. Garbage can, shut the door behind you, okay. Let's continue up north. Gas station should actually be right down here. So, I guess we'll see if we get lucky. Honestly, I might end the episode. Yo, whoa, whoa, yo, whoa, 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 do, 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 do. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, man, there are a lot of views. Okay, let's get some distance. Turn around. Push you over. Woo! We're out of here! We're out of here! Oh, man. <laughs> Do you really think you can outpace Alejandro Green? Huh. Tough words, idiot. Okay, there's still. This is what we do to you. 
Boo, 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 boo. Do, 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 do. Check this one out. We call this a bait and switch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this is why we need to play athletic characters. And I forgot to shut the door. We need to do it one more time, Arthur. One more time. Woo! Man, we got ourselves a party! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If I fuck this up, I die. If I fuck this up, I die. I might die anyways. Oh, man, they're feisty! Okay. Ultra Instinct! Yeah, baby! That's how you do it! That's how you do it! Yeah! All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Absolute top bloke right here. Slip into the trees, and just like that, we're at the good old-fashioned gas station. All right. We're able to lose them. We're able to give them the old slip rooney and we still got some stamina to spare for bashing in a couple of uh, zombie skulls. So yeah, I'll count that as a win in my book. We made it to the gas station. I think I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.